So I recently bought a MacBook for mobile video editing. On it I use Final Cut Pro X because it runs much smoother than Premiere Pro. But on my main Windows machine behind me I still use Premiere Pro. So I thought I'd make a comparison between the two software. So if you ask YouTubers what they use as a software for editing, most of them use either Premiere Pro or Final Cut. So because I'm now using both of them, so I thought I'd make a comparison between the two so you can know the differences. So before I start, I want to say that in my opinion there is no better one. They are just better at different things. So with that said, I want to talk about the audience that Apple and Adobe try to re reach with their programs. So while Apple calls Final Cut Pro 10 a professional software, many real professionals argue that it is a big step backwards from Final Cut Pro 7 in case of professionalism. Adobe on the other hand also positions itself as a professional video editing software. But it really is because it is the industry standard in many places and lots of big movie studios use it as well. One of the re reasons for that is the way that Apple and Adobe present their features. While Apple tries to be very elegant and only presents the feature you really need on the front page, Adobe is much more intimidating for beginners as there are lots and lots of features always displayed. But professionals have everything they need at their fingertips in that way. But that doesn't mean that Final Cut Pro doesn't have as many features. While it is true that out of the box it isn't as customizable as Premiere Pro, when you combine it with Motion, that's the After Effects replacement, it is very powerful as you can basically make everything yourself. But then you could argue that you can use After Effects in combination with Premiere Pro as well and then it, the playing field is even again. And also the plugin support with Premiere Pro is a bit higher than with Final Cut Pro, although there are many on the Final Cut Pro as well. Now let's get to something that a general consumer would be interested in a bit more. The price. And there they use totally different methods. While Adobe uses a subscription based method where you pay once a month and then you have the cloud with all their applications in it. With Final Cut you have a one-time purchase of 300 bucks and an additional 50 if you want motion as well. For the Creative Cloud you pay either 25 bucks a month if you use a single application or 60 bucks a month if you want all of them. That includes Photoshop, Lightroom and all the other programs from Adobe. If you do the math then you can see that it comes out much more expensive with Adobe as you pay almost double as much only in one year. But if you use all the other applications as well like Photoshop and Lightroom it gets reasonable again. But now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this comparison. Let's compare some specific features with each other. The most apparent one is the timeline. If you switch from either of them to the other, you are greeted with a totally different experience. As on Final Cut Pro, you have a so-called magnetic timeline. If you put a clip in the timeline, it automatically goes to the place where the last one ended. And also if you put something above, as like a second layer, it doesn't attach in time, but it attaches to a clip. In Premiere Pro, this is totally different as you put your clip in a timeline and it stays there where you put it. So you put it at a particular time and not in a particular order. Also if you have a second layer in Premiere Pro it stays at the particular time and not combined with the other clip. I don't think that there is a better or worse one of them. Just if you have a really big project it can get quite messy in Final Cut but there are ways to deal with that. On the other hand, it is a bit quicker in Final Cut if you are only editing an easy thing like a YouTube video. Another big difference between the two 
is the way they handle rendering. While in Adobe you just cut the project and then export it, in Final Cut it works a bit different. So while you are cutting your project, Apple already renders the project in the background and so you get a smoother playback. And this also helps to reduce the export time dramatically. Even on my underpowered 12 inch MacBook with 1.1 GHz dual core processor, the projects export much quicker than on my X99 PC behind me with a 4.5 GHz 6 core processor. This is pretty astonishing, but it all is in the optimization of the Mac. Something else you want to keep in mind is that in my experience, Final Cut Pro is far more reliable than Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro often crashes on me and you have random errors while exporting. I haven't had a single crash or error while using Final Cut yet. And to close things off, I want to say that this is by far not a complete review. There are many more differences that I haven't covered yet. So if you have a Mac already and you're using Premiere right now, I'd advise you to just try out the 30 day free trial. But if you're on a PC, you can't test Final Cut. So you can either stick with Premiere Pro or check out some of the other programs like Sony Vegas or so. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. And if you did, please leave a like down below. Also consider subscribing while you're there. I also have Twitter and Instagram handles that are linked down below. There you can find some behind the scenes footage and other cool things. If you want to check out my website, it is now in English too. It is linked down below as well. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and until next time.